Curious George feeds the animals. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George went to the zoo with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. A new rainforest exhibit was opening and they wanted to be the first ones inside. But when they got to the new exhibit, the doors were closed. We'll have to come back later, George, the man said. Why don't we visit the other animals while we wait? First, they stopped to watch the zookeeper feed the seals. When he tossed little fish in the air, the seals jumped up to catch them. Then they barked for more. It looked like fun to feed the animals. Would you like something to eat, George? Asked the man with the yellow hat, and he bought a snack for them to share. When they stopped to see the crocodile, George remembered how the zookeeper had fed fish to the seals. He was curious. Would the crocodile like to eat something to eat? George tossed him a treat, and the crocodile snapped it out of the air. Next, they visited the koalas. George thought the koalas were cute. Here was a friendly one. She was curious, too. She wanted to see what George was eating, so he held out his hand to share. George shared his treats with an elephant and a baby kangaroo. George was making lots of new friends at the zoo. The lion was already eating, but the hippopotamus tried a snack. Next, he gave a treat to an ostrich. When George saw the giraffes, what fun to feed a giraffe. Giraffes usually have their heads high up in the trees, but George could see these giraffes would be easy to feed. But as soon as he held out his hand, a zookeeper came running. The zookeeper looked angry. He was angry with George. George didn't know, and he didn't want to stay to find out. He slipped away. The giraffes were happy to help. But where did George go? He was trying his best to hide, but little monkeys can't stay still for long. When George wiggled, the zookeeper was waiting. I see you, he said. Just then, another zookeeper hurried by. Come quick, she yelled. Someone saw the parrot. The first zookeeper led George to a bench. The parrot from our new exhibit escaped, and I must help find it, he explained. He told George to wait for him here, and before he left, he said, Don't you know you're not supposed to feed the animals? The wrong food might make them sick. George felt awful. He didn't know he wasn't supposed to feed the animals. He didn't want to make them sick. George was looking at the treat in his hand when all of a sudden a big bird swooped down and snatched it right up. Now George knew he wasn't supposed to feed the animals, but this one had helped himself. A zookeeper passed by was happy to see George. You found the parrot, she said. We've been looking for this bird all day. When she saw George's snack, she said, this isn't the best thing to feed a parrot, but a little won't hurt. Would you like to help me put him back where he belongs? George was glad to help after all the trouble he had caused, and together they were back to the exhibit. There's our problem, the zookeeper said, pointing at a hole in the netting. As the zookeepers discussed how to fix it, George had an idea. He climbed up like, the, like only a monkey can, and when he reached the hole, he tied the netting back together. Meanwhile, the first, first zookeeper returned. Catch that naughty monkey, he yelled. He was feeding the animals. But that little monkey found the parrot, another zookeeper told him. And look, he fixed the netting. Now we can open the exhibit. When George came down, all the zookeepers cheered. Finally, the celebration began and the doors were open. The man with the yellow hat was there, and he and George got to the first ones in got to be the first ones inside. As George walked in, the zookeepers thanked him for all his help. Please visit any time, they said. George couldn't wait to come back and see his friends, but next time he'd remember, unless you're a zookeeper, don't feed the animals. Pinky got out. Oh. Today's schedule, field trip day, tour of the zoo. Welcome students. Welcome to the zoo. Showing you around is my favorite thing to do, said the zookeeper. These birds always stick together. So today, be like a flamingo and stay with your flock. Uh-oh, said Penny. Next are the meerkats, explained the zookeeper. Some forage for food while the scouts watch out for trouble. Pinky got out, said Penny. Some seals hold their breath while sleeping underwater, said the zookeeper. Look! P 
Pinky got out, said Penny. Have you seen Pinky, asked Penny. Who, asked Mia. Pinky, said Penny. The python can grow as long as a garden hose, said the zookeeper. Pinky, said Joey. He got, Joey, he got out, said Penny. There he is. There's Pinky, said Penny and Max. Don't be silly, said the zookeeper. This is for giraffes only. What happened to Pinky, asked Ike. We lost him, said Penny. Oh, I see some legs. It's a myth that ostriches stick their heads in the sand to hide, said the zookeeper. Sometimes it looks that way when they're finding food. Pinky got out, said Penny. Be your favorite animal, zoo photos. Looks like they're all dressed up. So is Pinky. We're coming to the zoo shop, which is the end of our tour, said the zookeeper. Remember, a flock always stays together. Does anyone want to say what they learned today? Asked the zookeeper. Pinky got out. Here she is. Bye-bye, Pinky, said Penny. Squawk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and wait, said the zookeeper. Where's Pinky? There she goes. Squawk. The end. Mm -hmm.